welcome back to my channel shweta cv env so today we are going to continue the fifth chapter of uh, air pollution monitoring and control part 2 which deals with cement industries okay okay so majorly the contents of uh, this topic will be the definition so uh, what about the manufacturing process and the advantages and disadvantages of the cement industries basically to define the cement it is a binder or we can call it as a binding material which is used for construction and it is going to set harden and adhere to other materials to bind them together so it acts like a binding material obviously has we defined and it also uh, mixes up two other materials which cannot be binded together so it acts as a binding material once again <laughs> okay so then the cement can be mixed with fine aggregate products uh, okay then uh, what it will form it will form mortar when it is mixed with the fine aggregates it forms the mortar when it is uh, mixed uh, with sand and gravel it is going to produce the concrete got it so masonry works are nothing but uh, for uh, plastering things or for the basic as you can see the pictures so for one concrete block to another concrete block to attach it it just acts like a glue okay so only the cement will be mixed with fine aggregates to form that particular glue or the fevicol like which is known as mortar okay and the blocks are prepared when the cement is going to be mixed with sand and gravel so they are called as concrete blocks okay my dear friends good so since we already know that uh, this particular cement is uh, widely used in terms of construction and all uh, it is a uh, next most used resource in nature we can say than uh, water so water comes to the first then the second will be the cement which is a uh, more used uh, for nowadays the construction works in anything like road in buildings or in bridges whatever it is so the concrete or nothing but the cement acts an important role in these things okay so if we come in terms of uh, how the particular manufacturing process be if we consider it is called has a complex process has it starts from mining then it starts to grinding the raw materials then it includes the limestone and clay okay and they will be in the form uh, of uh, or they, we can say that those materials uh, will be crushed to form a fine powder known as a raw meal okay then when it is heated in a sintering uh, temperature of about uh, 1450 degrees celsius in a cement clin okay then in this particular process it is going to form the clinkers got it so what are those clinkers these are the chemical bonds of the raw materials which can be broken down and they can also be recombined into a new compound so those are called as clinkers and these are uh, in the form of rounded nodules and their sizes will be in between 1 mm and 25 mm okay and these clinkers when they are grounded to a fine powder in a cement mill and they are mixed with gypsum then they form a cement these powdered cement will be then mixed with the water and aggregates to form the concrete blocks which are further used in construction purposes so this was a conceptual explanation regarding the processing of a cement factory so we will discuss regarding the flow chart so from the queries and all we going to get the uh, rocks and all uh, from the storage tank it will be in a crushed format it will be sent for rotary plane where the coal dust will be acting as a grease type to those machines and uh, thereby the again those coarse aggregates or the stones or the gravels will be cut down okay and thereby they form the uh, clinkers so here in case of rotary clean they are going to mix up with uh, all the raw materials which we said in terms of uh, limestone or in terms of sand or in terms of gravel so everything will be mixed then they form the clinkers and uh, during the clinkers since we know it's a uh, it has been giving its product at a high temperature so it will be sent for coolers after it gets cooled down then it will be sent for bar mills or tube mills where it is again grinded and they are going to add the additive known as gypsum okay so it will give its uh, strength durability and all so to make it uh, stronger and to long last they are going to add the gypsum and then uh, after the final product is obtained this cement it will be sent to storage in silos okay then it will be weighed and packed in bags and then it is distributed so this is a conceptual explanation flow chart okay of how a cement factory is going to work or an industry is going to work so the main stages of cement manufacturing these are the six stages basically the raw material extraction or the quarry in terms of quarry the rocks are going to be uh, blasted with the dynamite and then whatever the 6 inches or 3 inches rocks we are obtaining they will be sent for the rollers or for grinding purposes so that 
when the rocks or these gravels when they are going to be crushed and all then they are going to be sent to the rotary cleans and all and thereby the procedure same follows so only they say that grinding and proportioning and blending so how much amount of limestone should be added how much uh, quantity of uh, clay should be added or a uh, sand should be added and also according to the ratio according to the ratios of proportioning they are going to add it and then they are going to blend the things preheated raw materials obviously during this process the materials will get preheated okay then it is and for coolings and all in the clean phase all the reactions is going to happen so that uh, we are going to get the optimum product then it is sent for again cooling and again final grinding if any minute uh, gravels if they have escaped from those severe processes then they will be again crushed and then it is again packed and shipped so these are the basic conceptual representation of cement manufacturing process we have even the chemical reactions so you people can get to know the chemical reactions i will include the link there you can just go and check out its uh, reactions and all how the chemical reaction usually occurs but i feel for engineering students uh, they don't see these chemical reactions much instead uh, they see how exactly you have learned the concept concept of uh, cement working and all but still if you wish to uh, read regarding the chemical reactions and all i will just give the link in my um, video or in the description okay so that you people can refer to it okay so basically what are the main advantages and disadvantages of the uh, cement so if we come in terms of advantages uh, in terms of this particular uh, cement factory so uh, we say that it has a good plasticity so that uh, it can easily be coagulated and uh, or it can be easily poured into any kind of shapes and sizes for the components of the structures okay so uh, like that so it is like easy flexible kind of thing and uh, strong bond obviously it has a strong bond hence only it will be used as a concrete in between the steel bars right for reinforcement uh, structures and all it has a high compressive strength and good durability due to the presence of gypsum in it and it is uh, as usual we say it is a uh, more flexible to the configurations in terms of our engineering requirements depending upon the whether it is required for steps or for bridges or for slabs or any kind of re reinforcement structures so it is like flexible to it okay what are the disadvantages if we consider it has a very low tensile strength which is really very disappointing thing as it should not be used in a tension member and it has a poor resistance for that purpose only if heavy load is there then it will show a uh, easy to crack like things or it will show its uh, deformations easily if any um, uh, load is increased in that particular area or something brittle failure obviously it gets uh, hard and then it gets failed it shows the cracks also as a warning symbol since it is very heavy in weight and strong in shrinkages so it becomes difficult for the persons who are working for higher and higher apartments to lift and also that becomes like an inconvenient thing for those laborers or the people we can say so we will just see how basic warnings a uh, concrete or a cement or the blocks they usually give so in case of illumination light cracks and attachment you can see the variation crack line is also seen as well as the stripes we see blurring is also seen and this pock marks is also seen so these all are responsible for having a strong shrinkage thing why because less of moisture content and all not a proper cured and all we can say curing nothing but uh, we uh, provide the water to that particular structure so that uh, all the binding materials even which are not binded properly they get binded easily with the help of this particular water so it becomes stronger and stronger for 24 days or 28 days like that it depends on the uh, type of the structure they do okay so ribbed slab is nothing but the extension of the rods after the completion of one uh, set of the work you people can just check it out here ribbed section see here you can see the mesh wire mesh is left out the slab okay see here also uh, the wire mesh is going to be left out so that is known as ribbed slab in case of cracks and all you can see these so these are pavement areas so like this so okay so you have got to know regarding a uh, light conceptual uh, imagination or an idea regarding how and particular in cement industry is going to work and all. so this was the brief introduction or a uh, explanation you can consider for a cement industry okay friends so i'll be explaining regarding thermal power plant or we can call thermal power station in my next part three video okay so until then be safe take care god bless you all and thank you to like and share and subscribe my channel shweta cv env you can also follow me on instagram id at the rate i'm shweta shway and do hit the bell icon for further notification and god bless you all